Hey guys. Get that. Cassie found something here. It's the size of a nickel. Give me a buffalo nickel. Give me that buffalo juice. Oh, I gotta keep digging some more here. Let's see what else we can get. I found myself a bucket lister. I got a crotal bell. It's a weedy. You found a weedy? Yes. Sweet. A Walking Liberty 1943 half dollar. Oh my god, it's freaking gorgeous. You got an Indian? Oh my god, Cassie got an IHP. Needless to say, I am a happy camper. Hey guys, guess what? I get to go metal detecting today. Yes, it's been forever. It's like um, January 17th or something like that. So this would be the first time in 2021. At least I think I get to go metal detecting today. Temperature is a balmy 33 outside right now. There's a little breeze, not a major wind or anything, so it shouldn't be too bad. I do have a snowmobile suit on, so that helps with the wind. Um, if I can keep my hands from freezing and the ground isn't frozen, that's the big question is, what's the ground look like? We're gonna go try to save some history. I have about a three to four hour window, depending on how much I wanna push it. Let's go see what we can find, guys. All right, he just started. First hole, first find of 2021, and what are we gonna have? It's shallow, probably just a penny or something. Really shallow. First find of 2021 is a clad dime. <laughs> Alrighty, we broke the broke the ice, so let's see what else we can get. Check her out, guys. I'm only about 15 minutes in, but I am pretty sure that's like a Model T valve stem cover or something, right? Uh, right there. I'll clean it up later, get the mud out of it to verify, but. That's what it's looking like, a valve stem cover of some sort. Sweet, let's keep going. Hands are already getting cold. Alrighty, we have something showing up over there that was deep. It's shovel deep. Don't know what it is. It looks like it has letters on it, though. Let's take a look. Brown? Brown for what? Brown Foreman? It's a tag of some sort? Oh, interesting. It's just like an aluminum tag. Brown Foreman's probably a name of a company of some sort that does something. Don't they all? That's, that's how they survive. <laughs> wow, interesting. Okay. It's nothing special it doesn't look like. I'll see if I can look it up to see what that is. Boy, it was deep down there, though. Holy cow. Let's keep going. Got another one that was pretty deep here. There's a nice worm there. He's kind of cold, I think. Um, this was down there a good ways, too. Didn't know what it was at first, but as I look at it, I think that might be a watch clasp. Or something like that. Yeah, I see the pin on the side there where this part would rotate. Some sort of a clasp. It might not be a watch, but it's some sort of a clasp. We'll clean it up later and take a better look at it. But uh, hmm. hey, there's something. It is uh, currently. My watch won't cooperate. There it goes. It is 10 after 12. So we've been out here yeah, just, just shy of an hour, I think. Not too bad so far. All right. Had to let you guys in on this one. I'm gonna see if you can hear it in my headphones here.
good numbers, good depth. So uh, let's dig it up and see what it is. I don't know if I can do this. Oh, that's cold. I don't have my glove on and my shovel handle is cold. I think I'll survive. Probably going to jinx myself with a live dig here. It's going to be the world's greatest bottle cap. Alright. Let's see. Where is it? Hole or plug? In the plug. Alright, take my headphones off. somewhere over here oh we got some sort of a coin it looks like I think it is a penny it is just a Lincoln penny <laughs> I just live dug a Lincoln penny Ah, oh, the curse of the live dig. That's my first live dig for 2021, and I got a Lincoln penny. Oh, well, could have been worse. Could have been that bottle cap. There is something I haven't found in a while. It was hitting 1415 in the hole. 1617 out. It is like a parasol slide. Maybe not the slide, this may be the one that goes up the tip that everything connects into. Not the slide piece. But it's uh, from a parasol, an umbrella. That's cool, I haven't found one of those in a while, so... This is, uh, this is nice to have. Definitely will take this. It has been a while since I was able to turn this on. But I have something down here. I don't know what it is. Is it just a clad dime? I think it's just a clad dime way out here in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, just a clad dime it looks like. That sucker was deep. That was way down there. Barely locked onto it, but I got it. Wow. I'd like to get some silver today, but I, I have this feeling that's not going to happen. We're going to detect a while. It's 1 o'clock now, so I still got... Uh, one to two hours, I think, depending on how long my hands handle. They're not bad right now, though. I'm getting used to it. Let's keep going. This uh, might not be the most exciting thing out there, but I think it goes with some other finds that I've had prior. Um, this looks like the back that would hold on a pin like a military insignia or a pendant or something like that and I found military insignia things like that in the area here so I gotta get this cleaned up to verify but I think that's what that might be interesting I did find one of those clip-on backs that I know is a pin back um, earlier but uh, not one like this that one's a bit different isn't it let's keep digging Well, I finally got something a little bit more interested than a, interesting than a clad dime. My lips are cold. They don't work too good right now. I'm making my way back toward the car. I got myself a wheat penny. I was hoping it would be Indian because it was greener when it was wet. Looks like it's a 1940, so not horribly old. But uh, that is the only wheat penny I, I've got today. So we will start the year off, 2021, our first is somewhat keeper coin is a 1940 wheat penny. And I'm only about five minutes away from the car and we're going to call it the day because uh, it's almost three o'clock and I got to get home. So hopefully this isn't the last thing you see till the wrap up, but um, let's find out. And unfortunately, that was the last hole. That uh, wheat penny is all we got that was really all that great for the day. I didn't realize I had a couple of items left in my pouch in my collections, little doodad, uh, my case, from a previous hunt back in December, too. So there was a couple of items I didn't 
include from December. Uh, and a couple of the things that I found on this hunt that kind of surprised me. Um, let me show you what we ended up with for such a short hunt. There it is right there. Um, got a few square nails. Uh, some decent examples of old square nails that you'll find in old sites like this. Old uh, metal roller skate wheel. That was kind of interesting. It is surprising how many of these I find. I find at least probably three or four of these a year, and I, I wouldn't have expected that, but I do. Uh, an old lead tire weight. This thing has been chewed up. It's It's been down in the ground for a while. Uh, some doodads, parts of, I think that's a toy airplane that looks like part of a wing right there. These two pieces were probably 10 feet away from each other, and that's the only two pieces I found. Um, Zinkins, uh, looks like probably part of a keeper of some sort. Um, a porcelain lid that was broken. I don't think I did that. I think that was already like that, if I remember digging that. There's that brown foreman piece that I found. Um, I don't know what brown foreman is. It's a part of some sort, some manufacturer. Um, there's that watch clasp. You know, I didn't look at that to see if there was a maker's mark or any kind, anything on that. Uh, I'll take a look, and if I do see anything, I'll post it, like, right here, so you'll know who made it. Um, three pinbacks. There's the one that I did show, and then a couple of other ones, just simpler ones that I didn't show. Um, a whole... Like a uh, lip gloss thing, some clad, two of those pieces of clad, uh, one of those dimes that I found was a 69, so it was almost silver, a 62D. Um, this thing that I thought was a valve stem cover actually ends up being a lipstick tube. I would love, it's, it's really heavy, I don't know if it's filled with dirt or a lipstick. I would love to get this end off, but this dent here, it looks like another sleeve pushes up inside here and I don't want to destroy it. I tried to grab it with some pliers to see if I could get it off and it would not budge and I didn't want to try so hard that I destroyed it uh, so I just let it go. It'll be a mystery. Um, a little button that has like a mother of pearl thing. I don't think it's very old and I'm not even sure it's a button the way those it's not threads um, they're just rings, like a ring shank. This, I believe, is the top to an umbrella, where all the the stuff connects to up at the point of an umbrella. As it's too small to be the slide, I do believe. I think the slide piece would be bigger. This was really unexpected. This was encrusted with a bunch of gook on it, uh, some iron. So either the iron pin back portion of this or something was in there got just hugely corroded. Um, but when I, uh, I saved it because I saw a little couple little specks of silver sticking out from under it, so I wanted to see a little bit more about what it could be. And as I started uh, pulling all the corrosion and stuff off, this came out. It's a Madonna and Child, I believe, is what that's supposed to be. It's pretty cool, isn't it? The things that you don't expect and if you just take those things that look like garbage and throw them away without looking sometimes you miss some really cool stuff and I, I think that's really cool it is a junk piece but it's really cool um there's the 1940 wheat that i found while i was out from the previous hunt i got a 46 and a 28 buff i didn't realize i had and i had two of those beautiful uh, general service buttons that I've been finding at this location. So I still don't know what went on at this place. That would cost me to find so many things like this. It's all war, World War II era stuff, but still, it's it's cool to know that something happened there that would cause that. And I'm not sure what that would be, actually. Uh, I don't know if this would have been a gathering place, for soldiers to gather before they were being deployed. I don't know of any training that went on here for World War II era type stuff, so 
I don't think it's that. Um, it could be soldiers that come back that were convalescing in the area. It's, it's near an area where perhaps that went on. But if you're doing that, why would you still have your coat and stuff? And, and um, these come from dress uniforms. So, again, I don't understand what happened here to cause me to find this. Either a parade of some sort where this was a parade ground or a gathering spot for a parade um, or it was some sort of a gathering point prior to being shipped off or perhaps after coming back you would come back in your dress uniforms or something egg, uh, disembark here and then you know go meet your friends and family and stuff like that it's a it's a big big area um, so if you're looking for an area um, to do something like that, you know, bus people in so that there's plenty of room for people to meet each other. This would have been a, a, a good area to do something like that. Otherwise, you'd have to find like a school or something like that. And, and this would have just been a better location, I think. So it's still a mystery. I'll, I'll ask around and see uh, if anybody knows the history of the area. And uh, we'll explore it together. And uh, if I do find out, I'll let you guys know. Until then, that was the first hunt of 2021 and um, might be the last one for a while because there's snow on the ground again and it's like um, uh, Oh, I don't know if I have the temperature on my watch. Oh, yeah, it is. It's hidden by the hand, but it's like uh, uh, 28 degrees out right now So there's that uh, so welcome to 2021, that's my meager finds, and um, can't wait to get out again because I, I have a lot more finds left to, to, to make, and I can't wait to see what I can get out there and, and uh, explore and, and discover. So see you guys later, welcome to 2021.